Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at the new super fast switch from Acer Store. This is the Acer Store Switch and Store ASW205T. Is it worth it? Keep watching to find out. Okay, so in today's video, we're doing a quick unboxing and going through the pros and cons of the Acer Store Switch and Store ASW205T. This is their new five port 2.5 gigabit ethernet switch, which comes in at a pretty reasonable price at the moment. Here in the UK market, has lots of nice features to it. One of which being the fact that it is absolutely tiny and also doesn't use a great deal of power, which these days is something which we all are somewhat conscious of looking at the electricity bills and all that kind of stuff. Although it's only in the watts category, it's still a saving is a saving. So today we're gonna to go through, do a quick unboxing, go through the features, go through a tour of the ports, etc. Do some speed tests towards the end of the video and then we'll come back at the end with my final thoughts. So starting off with the packaging, a uh, yeah, pretty bland packaging as uh, a lot of these switches tend to be these days. So as you can see on the front, switch and store ASW502T, five port, 2.5 gigabit unmanaged switch. So this has no management, no control or anything. It basically is a plug and play device, which is always a nice thing to see. Looking inside the packaging, we are greeted with actually some pretty decent stuff here, all recyclable packaging, which is always really nice to see. Got a selection of power options here. So depending on which country you're in, you'll get a plug suitable for your particular region. So we've got the UK one there. Uh, I think that's the American one. I'm not entirely sure. You've got the kind of shaver socket one as well. And there's also the dual pin one. So I guess this is gonna cover pretty much all regions. Obviously, depending where you buy it, you will get the connections suitable for your local power supply. Talking of the power supply, nice little tiny unit. So really small unit. 10 watts maximum is what this will actually use, although the power supply itself is rated, I think, for about 20 watts, so there is a little bit of overhead there as well. Putting the plugs on, very simple to do. Grab your respective plug, pins down, pins down on there, and just twist it, lock it into position. If for some reason you decide to uh, emigrate and move country, which is uh, probably not a bad idea in some countries these days, all you do, press in the switch there, or the socket, give it a little twist and you can take it off and replace it with whichever one is suitable. So yeah, very decent. The cable itself, if you're wondering, barrel connection on the end and is 1.8 meters in length. Also included, as you'd expect, is a user guide and also tells you how to drill holes in the wall should you wish to. If you want to wall mount this, you can wall mount it or you can have it as a desk mount. The choice is up to you. Next up is the switch itself. And as you can see, this thing is absolutely tiny very much actually pretty much the same size as what you'd find a normal gigabit switch or even a 10100 switch. So yeah, they've made this a very compact unit. Also included, there are some rubber feet if you wish to attach those for desk mounting. And also there are some rule plugs and screws for wall mounting. So looking at the actual unit itself, as you can see is absolutely tiny, uh, about six inches wide. I'll put the measurements on the screen now because I'm never very good at that thing. On the front, obviously, five ports. This is a five port unit. And also each port has its own individual LEDs telling you what speed you're connected at. So you can use this with 10100 gigabit or 2.5 gigabit ethernet. Also there's an activity light, which is separate. So you've got connection light and also your activity, which are two separate lights, which is actually quite a nice thing to see, especially if you're trying to diagnose network faults. Something which is a little bit on the kind of gamery side, which some people may appreciate, others not so much. Uh, the, obviously the red accents, as you can see, standing out. They have given this a somewhat gamery look and they kind of tied in with their range of NAS. So if you've got an Asus Store NAS, you'll find that there's a red port on the back, which obviously matches up with this. So they've kind of color coded it. So red is basically the fastest connection. On the sides, a little bit of ventilation on the side, a little bit on the back and a little bit on that side there. Taking the unit apart, should you wish to, you can do pretty easily, just two screws on there. Top cover slides off to reveal the motherboard. And actually looking at the motherboard, you can see there are actually five individual Realtek controllers there using the RTL 8221B chipset. So there's one for each port. So this will allow you to have up to 25 gigabits per second internal transfer speed. So all the ports are completely bi-directional and also full duplex. So we've got all the usual things built into this. So we've got collision detection, packet detection, and all that kind of stuff. All the sort of things you'd expect to see. Obviously it is passively cooled. There's a huge heat sink on there, which you've probably seen already from some of the B-roll. A very compact and tiny unit. So if you're putting this on your desk, it isn't gonna look out of place too much and isn't gonna take a great deal of room. But the more important thing is, is it actually any good? So let's take a look at some speed tests against a competing brand. So as you can see on the screen here, so we've got two 
brands here. One is the ASUS Store, which you can see highlighted. And there's actually a couple of megabytes per second transfer rate a little bit higher. So that's always a good thing to see. So performance is definitely well up there. Something we should consider is the price. So price of this one at the moment in the UK is somewhere in the region of about 120 pounds I've seen it for, which does actually put it slightly higher than the cheapest one on the market currently. Although it is a little bit cheaper, about 20 pounds cheaper than some of the other competitive ones such as Netgear, etc. So you will see these actually five port versions for even up to 160 pounds here in the UK. So coming at about 120, I think is actually pretty decent. Although obviously still the price per port is still quite expensive, but no doubt that will come down in time. So there you go. There is a quick overview of the Asia Store Switch and Store ASW205T. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.